We now want to get over to March Madness. The Houston Cougars right now taking on Northern yeah. Kentucky. <laughs> Let's get right to KPRC's uh, sports director Randy McAvoy joining us now in studio. We've been watching closely and the, it's, I mean, it's pretty close. It's a good game. Uh, a little tighter than anybody <laughs> wanted. Yeah. Uh, number one against number 16 seed indeed. It's opening day of the tournament. It's already uh, had a chair of big up to, up, uh, upsets. I'll show you two big ones ahead in sports. Tonight though, all about the number one seeded U of H Cougars opening Midwest regional play. They're doing so in Birmingham, Alabama against 16th seeded Northern Kentucky tonight. Cougars 18 point favorites over NKU in All American. Marcus Sasser was back on the floor. Chancellor Johnson with the Cougs. He joins us live outside of Legacy Arena. But uh, Chancellor, we've got some bad news on Marcus Sasser, it looks like. Randy, yes, in fact, we do. You know, coming into this year's NCAA tournament, 148, 147 teams, 16 seeds have tried to be a number one team, but only one has been successful. I can tell you Northern Kentucky is trying their darnest to be 147 and two. Right now, it is a tight ball game, but the storyline of this game has actually been the storyline that was coming into the ball game, and that is the health of star guard Marcus Sasser. He was dealing with a groin injury coming into this ball game, and he re-aggravated it late in the first half. He was subbed out by Kelvin Sampson as he was dealing with some issues there and then coming out of the break he did not return. Now he was listed as questionable but he has not played since and right now you can kind of feel the effects of that in this ball game. Houston is struggling with Northern Kentucky's uh, defense with their kind of unorthodox zone and something else of note here right now in Birmingham this is turning into a strong NKU uh, fan base here as they want to see up they want to see an upset they want to see chaos and right now as the Houston Cougars keep it close they're giving the fans definitely their money's worth here in Birmingham Randy all right appreciate it Chancellor Johnson live in Birmingham you'll have all the post game wrap up coming up to, tomorrow morning appreciate it, Chancellor all right watch parties uh, being held across the city of Houston tonight many showing their support for the Cougars KPRC 2's Devin Clark he joins us live now at the Savoy on emancipation in the third ward where folks are in Inside, watching the game as we speak. Hey, Devin. Hey, Randy. Yeah, this may be the beginning of March Madness for U of H, but here in the third ward at Savoy, some crazy fans are already making some strong predictions about how the rest of the playoffs are going to go. I mean, it's March Madness, baby. Like, come on. Yeah. Go Cougs. Like, what we doing? Kick it off in Houston. Well, I believe in them. You know, this is kind of the first year they've been number one in a long time. So if they come together, play together, stay together, I believe they can do it for sure. Go, go! Meet us at the Savoy! All right, and I'm out here with CJ, who's a native Houstonian. He works at Savoy. We've seen it be a close game, all game, and now they're leading by just under 10 points. How do you think the rest of the game is going to go? I mean, as long as they stick to their guns and lock in, do what they know how to do, you know what I'm saying, I think they can pull it out. All right, what do you have to say to the naysayers? Hey, man, look, <laughs> H-Town, everything, H-Town, you know what I'm saying, we're going to pull it out at the end. We'll see who's talking. All right, see, I like that energy. That's the type of energy that's going to carry them all the way through. We're going to keep it locked here on KPRC 2 News. Reporting live in the third ward, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. All right, good news right now, 47-30. The Cougars are on top. Thank you very much. Devin Clark live uh, downtown. All right, we will have much more uh, March Madness coverage uh, coming up in sports. Daniela Keith, we'll see you then. All right.